And there are Rubens now coming out of the Quest airlock to join Williams just outside. Welcome back outside. Yeah. Good to be out here. Again, this is the second spacewalk for this duo. They just completed one back on August 19th. See your green WZS flight is on. I can see two. I'm with you. And uh, talk, uh, we just need verification for steps 66 to 72, uh, the Medox scoring. canister removal, and a reminder to install the caps. Copy, Jeff. And as you can see, the solar arrays come into views from the camera looking over Jeff Williams' shoulder. He's just about at the work site. You can see the earth passing below underneath as the crew members and the station right now uh, passing over the United States. Copy, Kate. Uh, Jeff Williams put a number of her tethers in place already, so she's going to follow the exact same path that he just took. Uh, that's affirmative. Uh, just past that uh, radiator. 202, and it's going to be on the nadir face, so it's going to be uh, down and underneath. Fifty-two o two is on the forward face. And for the actual procedure, Williams is going to be using his PGT, the pistol grip tool, essentially the power drill. And so the first step of the retraction complete, the pistol grip tool now recalibrated up in the RPMs a little bit. So the radiator should start moving in a little bit quicker. Okay, Jeff, uh, you are go to continue driving the H2 torque or the H2 bolt. Uh, expect 40 turns. It's going to take about a minute and a half. You're going to drive to hard stop. Okay. So you can't move any more inboard on your headset. Okay. Other than that, the radiator looks clear and clearance. Motion getting a little closer to you. Motion. Clearance. Verticalize if you can. For clearance. Good motion. Turn through. It's getting close to you. Okay. Good motion. Fourteen. And stop motion. Stop motion. Fifteen okay. turns. Okay, you need to you need to get vertical and get a little bit more cleared. As as take a look uh, over your left shoulder there. good view of through uh, Jeff Williams helmet cam again if you're following along you can differentiate between the two astronauts helmet cams by the number in the lower right corner Williams has that number 17 Kate Rubens has the number 20 Copy, Jeff. And then uh, on the P4 connector, if you can check for any FOD, uh, any EMI, that the EMI band is there. EMI band is there. Uh, good FOD check. But the connector looks clean. Okay, copy that. We're going to be in the sunlight for a while, so if you can try to temp stow the that connector out of direct sunlight. 